You can use PenPal as a floating panel or you can dock it somewhere in your workspace. If you're short on screen space, you can dock it somewhere small and then use the tilde key when your cursor's over it to maximize it temporarily. Use the tilde key again to restore your workspace. It's often a good idea to use PenPal side by side with the composition panel. Let's set up a new workspace so we can switch PenPal on and off with a single click. I'll go to Window, Workspace, Save as New Workspace. I'll name it after the workspace that it's based on and then click OK, and then go again to Window, Workspace, Edit Workspaces, and drag my new workspace next to the default one that it's based on. Let's reset the default layout to its saved version so that then, when we switch between default plus pen pal and default, pen pal opens and closes without me having to navigate through the menus. Click the card on the right to watch the next video, or the one on the left for the whole playlist. <laughs>